Hi, welcome to your test. This video will give you a brief overview of what to expect in a DevSkillers assessment. A test can consist of six different question types. Multiple choice questions, code gaps, essay questions, database or SQL query questions, code review and programming tasks. On the left hand side, you can see the time allocated to each section of the test. This time is recommended to you by the recruiter sending the invite and should be used as a guide throughout the test. You're only limited by the total amount of time you have to complete the test. By accepting the terms and conditions and clicking Start Assessment, the test and countdown timer will begin. You will land on the first question, which in this case are three multiple choice questions related to JavaScript. We will select the answers at random for the purpose of this demo. Click Proceed only once you are sure of your answers. Going back to previous steps will be an option that may or may not be given to you by your recruiter. Step 2 covers code gaps. You will find the question at the top of the page and gaps will be indicated by the gray text boxes. Fill in your answers into them like this. Now we will click on Next. In this test, step 3 is an essay question. This question is evaluated manually by the recruiter, so do your best to answer the question clearly and completely. Luckily for us, we know the correct answer to this question. Step 4 is a database query question. The box on the left hand side is the task description where everything you need to know to answer the question will be provided. It tells us to select the sum of all orders in the database. The console on the right is where you will write the query code, like so. After typing in your code, make sure you click Run and Validate. If your query is correct, you should see success in the results box below. Then, click Next. Step 5 is Code Review. The pop-ups will walk you through the console and tell you what needs to be done in order to complete the question. Code review usually entails giving your feedback on the code given to you. On the left-hand side, you will be given the project files. The full task description is always visible in the first tab. And the comment section is on the right-hand side. Let's open the project file and comment on a line. To comment on a line, you highlight the desired text you want to comment on and press C and add your comment. And when you're ready, click Next. The final step of the test in this case is the programming task. Similar to the code review, the pop-ups will guide you through the interface. Project files are on the left-hand side again. With programming tasks, you have the option to download the code archive in a zip file to be used in your own IDE unless the recruiter has disabled this feature. You can also clone it to a Git repository and answer the question this way. The task description is visible in the first tab. In the console below, you can see the output of your code and results of unit tests. In this task, we are asked to code for the functions of a calculator. We will find the file we need in the file tree here. Let's enter the answers now. This is absolutely crucial. Make sure you click Build before clicking Finish. Click here to build your code. Clearly, I am a genius and the code works. I will now click Finish to finish the exam. This page can be, but isn't necessarily included by the recruiter. We'll just input random values and click Finish Test. Here you have a summary of your test. And now, all you have to do is wait for the feedback from your recruiter. Good luck with your real test.